and down by a railway line near where I live in Cheshire and the, the canal is just up at the end here and the railway line which is this bit here runs over the canal and then there's a little stream which runs down here as you might be able to see but this particular bit which is uh, you know where the railway line is elevated a bit and runs over the stream and then subsequently goes over the canal the railway line is for some reason I don't know why is supported on these weird pipes look big stack of pipes like a little fortress you know if I was a kid I'd be down here every day playing forts for sure you can see they go right the way through so you can go through to the other end quite attractive in some weird way some of them are blocked up some of the high ones are blocked up but the low ones you can go right through well, I don't know why they designed it like that it's weird but I'll tell you this is a this is probably going to sound a bit weird actually but every single time I pass here I always get the same kind of brain jerk that goes on which is I always think Oh, I could live in there. I see these bikes. I think, oh, I could live in there if I had to. Push came to shove. And it's not just here, actually. I, I always get that when I um, with any kind of structure like that. You know, any like a like a like a, a motorway bridge, that kind of thing. You know, where you get these. Uh, there's a bit at the top of the motorway bridge, which is usually quite secluded, like a little cave at the top there. If I if, if I look in that direction, I always get the same little thought just pops into my head for a microsecond. Which is, oh, I could, I could live there if I had to. And, and any kind of cave or a hole or a, uh, and, uh, yeah, anything like that. Any weird little shelter. I always think, oh, I could stay there if I had to. Bizarre. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who ever does that. Or maybe it's really common and no one ever talks about it. If I was going to rationalise it, and I think I'd have to, <laughs> is uh, I'd probably talk about it in terms of affordances. Affordances is a term from J.J. Gibson. He's not he doesn't really talk about caves and tunnels and pipes underneath railways, but he talks about it in terms of uh, surfaces and uh, kind of the objects in the world that we meet. And he says that before we before we recognise an object for what it is, or for what its proper its uh, physical properties are, we recognise it for its use value, for its function. It's uh, you know what kind of the use it would afford us, hence I think affordances. So he says that uh, you know before we recognise the floor as this horizontal surface, we recognise its stand-on ability. You know, it's oh, there's some stand-on, and that stand-on ability, that function we can have with it, um, is processed as part of, um, I guess, as part of the brain's cognitive whatever. Prior to those secondary processes to do with, oh, it's horizontal. It's you know, it's, it's this kind of. A, colour it's got these properties and similarly with things like tools in fact, I think he talks a lot about tools uh, you know a tool like a tool that has like an axe or a hammer something like that something that's got a handle you know we uh, the idea of the affordance is that before you see before you recognize the, the, the handle of an axe as being you know so long and having so much such kind of contours and being made of this kind of substance and being this kind of colour before those things take place you kind of recognise its capacity to fit your hand. Uh, I mean, I, I certainly feel that a lot. You know, if I'm in a DIY store or something like that, or if I'm just in my sorry, that train go past, or if I'm just in my garage, you know, with my tools, you know, I get I, I get a distinct haptic recognition of those tools prior to, I think at least prior to the uh, you know, kind of visual identification or a more analytic identification. You know, I can kind of feel my hands making the shape of the tool handles. Uh, yeah, so I think that, that's kind of affordances, or affordance structures, I think they're elsewhere called. And I think, although I may be justifying to protect my sanity, I think that's what's going on when I look at these little tunnels. You can just see them up there, look. I can feel it now in my head, actually. I can live in that hole, I can live there. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't come to that, really. Come on, pups.